I know some of you who are looking at me right now are thinking, oh my god, way too much, Dina. But you just have to remember that sometimes too much is exactly the right amount, okay? I do realise I look like a big sweet and you are fasting, so I do apologise for that. But don't worry about it because, you know, it's day two of Ramadan. Um, I haven't wished anybody a Ramadan Kareem on YouTube, so here I am doing it now. Ramadan Kareem to you all. I hope your fasts go really well, inshallah, because they're going to be very hard here in the UK. We're having an 18 hour fast and the weather's been absolutely freezing, you know, all year. And then the week Ramadan hits, bang, it wants to get hot, really, really hot, like we're in Egypt or something. So I don't know why, but it's very frustrating. My first day actually wasn't as bad as I thought, but that's because I stayed in all day. I did that on purpose because, you know, I have to get used to it. I have to get into the swing of things, you know? So today I'm going to do a June favourites. The last favourite favourites video I did was back in March. So I figured it's about time I did another one. I don't do the monthly because I don't have favourites monthly anyway. I pretty much use the same things. Oh my god, something for my eye. Oh my god. Okay, just jump straight into it then, shall we? Coconut oil. So um, if you guys have been following me, I don't know, over the past couple months, you'd know that I was in Egypt a few months ago and I was raving on about coconut oil, where to find it, blah, blah, blah. I was having a hard time looking for it and, and I was getting like loads of coconut oils from Egypt, but they, were, they weren't the originals. They were like oils. So I came here and I went to Holland and Barrett and I found the original one. And this is like, you can use this for cooking, you can use it for eating, you can use it on your body, moisturizer, anything. And what happens basically is when it gets really hot, it turns into a liquid, if you guys can see in there. And then when it's cool, again, the temperature, it goes into a nice white solid, uh, kind of like a, a thick, like moisturizing soap kind of thing. And you, and as soon as you dip your finger in it and then put it on your body, it goes into a liquid. Um, I love it. I've been using it, because you guys all know how I hate my eye wrinkles. So I've been using it around here for my eyes. And I've also been using it as a moisturizer and on my hair. And I haven't eaten it yet because I don't think I'd be able to stomach that. But yes, I love it. And this whole tub was like £15. And so far I've had it for about two months, possibly even longer. And it's still going to last me for absolutely ever, if you have a look. Okay, so coconut oil, totally recommended by Dina. Talkie or Tokyo. My next favourite is Dr. Organic Bioactive Skin Care. Um, organic Moroccan Argon, Argon Oil Instant Tightening Eye Serum anti-aging and I also got this from Holland and Barrett and it was only like eight pounds or something and it's specifically for around the eyes so I got it around the same time I got the coconut oil actually I like switch around one night I'll use coconut oil one night I'll use this um, and I like this because all the ingredients are natural oils so that's why I like it it's not all argan oil but there's argan oil in there probably yeah so it's all natural so I got that and that's the end of that story mm. oh okay Okay, we'll stick to makeup, like face stuff, one sec. In my last makeup tutorial video, I did a tutorial and I used Inglot palette. And um, as you can see, I've used it quite a little bit since then. Um, this is definitely a favorite. I haven't bought any any other lipsticks since because I don't really need to. Now I'm wearing Inglot, I've got the orange one over here with a bit of white in it to create this shade. And um, uh, yeah, I don't need to buy another lipstick. I just keep mixing these basically really really love it completely worth it if you buy one palette by itself it's eight pound fifty if you buy ten it's like fifty pounds or something stupid like that so there you go okay moving on to fragrances i'm not really one to buy fragrances to be honest when i use something it's like a body spray from boots or something like that um but la fiance got me this um and this is a nice perfume from what's that one called guys Locketown, 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 that one. I like that one very much. Gets rid of the bow in the summer already. This is something I've been using for the past month. And because it's summertime, all the insects like to come into the room and freak people out uh, where they're not welcome. So I've been getting Raid and spraying it every day in my room, around the windows and the door frames and all that stuff because can't handle it I can't handle spiders I don't mind moths moths are easy to handle the little ones little spiders still freak out but I can get rid of them myself but those big big yucky ones oh if you guys know me you know I'm absolutely terrified of spiders I'm not just any kind of terrified like literally if somebody was to throw a spider I'd have a heart attack literally 
and it works on some spiders but it doesn't work on that many and I know I shouldn't kill spiders but when I'm home alone and there's no one there to remove it with a cup with a glass and paper I have to do something or I'll just freak out and I have to know where where the spider's gone I can't just walk out the room and then hope it's moved somewhere I have to know where it's gone in case it creeps up on me again you know what I mean sorry my phone is being really rude moving on to clothes just got two more items left this is a great video I'm not really a favorites person because I used to shop a lot but I don't anymore alhamdulillah so anyway uh, this jumper sorry it's the wrong way around this sweater jumper so this one was from Topshop it was 18 pounds and I hate summer because I just hate it because it's too hot and I have to wear a scarf and I just can't handle it but um, and I also hate having to wear thin tops and stuff I really love sweaters so I went and got this because it's a really nice thin sweater you probably wouldn't be able to wear it in Egypt in hot country summers but in English summers you could wear this with light chinos and I just wear it whenever I can't think of anything else to wear over any trousers printed trousers plain trousers anything and that's why it goes with everything and I love it I love it, I don't care, I love it. And last but not least guys, biggest favourite ever really, are these trainers. I know, I've already shown you guys, but you know, I'm sorry about that. I've been eyeing up these shoes for, since last, ooh, I don't know, probably since like last Christmas or something. Um, and I couldn't find them anywhere, and then my future brother-in-law went and got me them well he got the plain ones actually and then he painted them for me and I just love them so much and I thought I wouldn't be able to wear them with that much but surprisingly they go with most things alrighty then so so yes that's finished oh might do a quick outfit of the day um these rings are from Egypt um Dehabo bracelet that says my name Dina a normal gold bracelet Cassia watch I'm wearing this vintage shirt over here which is from Vintage Vintage LazyDoll.com. Some new clothes have been added on there, so go check it out. Uh, also from Lazy Doll are these new stripy scarf collection, which reminds you of candy. And blue and in red, these are also available on Lazy Doll now. And then I'm just wearing my normal River Island jeans. I can't stand up because I'm on my bed and it's really awkward. So how about you just go to Instagram, Dina Tokyo, and have a look at the full outfit there instead. Alrighty then. If you would like any Ramadan tips from me, then check out Akila Style. I made a video for them. Uh, with my personal Ramadan tips so check that out I'll leave the link also I really want to do some sort of like Ramadan series during Ramadan I'm not sure what though I know I, want, I need to do the DIY video and I want to do something like keeping up with the talk ears or something like that during Ramadan but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that so leave me loads of suggestions on what kind of videos you would like to see during this month don't ask for tips because I've already done that for Akila so check it out there okay so um, thanks for watching guys and until next time keep it covered peace <laughs>